Welcome back to our little Scripture Saturday uh, reflection on this, the first weekend of Lent in 2021. Um, we looked at Matthew and Mark's Gospel so far, and I want to look um, at St Luke's Gospel, a little look at Luke, you might say, um, this weekend. He's different from the other Gospels in that Luke was not one of the followers of Jesus when Jesus was on earth. He was probably a Greek um, a doctor, and we, accompany, we come across him not during the Gospels, but actually accompanying St. Paul on the second journey that St. Paul did into Asia Minor and then over to, to, to modern Greece, from Turkey to Greece. Then he came back to Jerusalem and was involved in other journeys with him. And Luke is mentioned in one of Paul's letters in the letter to the Colossians, chapter 4, verse 14. He talks about my dear friend Luke. The doctor. So Luke's someone who's heavily influenced by the outlook, the experience, the theology of St. Paul. Now, it's important, one other thing about St. Luke's Gospel. It is the Gospel of Luke, but it's dedicated to somebody called Theophilus, a friend of God, a lover of God, just as the Acts of the Apostles is dedicated to the same person. Luke's Gospel is part one of a two-volume work. And in many ways, it's a story which goes right from the beginning of the gospel with the um, Annunciation, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Mary, right through to the church being in Rome. So one runs on into the other, and there are certain themes that appear in all of them. In fact, the early stories about the life of Mary are, are, and Jesus are told through the eyes of Mary. In fact, the joyful mysteries are exclusively Luke, other than the nativity, which happens to be uh, appearing in, in Matthew's Gospel as well. But this is a story going from the Annunciation right to St. Paul arriving in Jerusalem. All sorts of challenges, all sorts of problems and difficulties, but they're all overcome. And it's a message as far as Luke's concerned, not just for Jews, but for the whole world. Here's a little map of the, the journeys of St. Paul. St. Paul obviously began from Antioch up there in modern Syria and made his first journey over into modern Turkey and then back again. And then during the next journey, he had a call to go not just into Turkey, but across to Greece. And that's where we have encountered Luke for the first time. And eventually he ends up in Rome and it seems that Luke was with him on the way to Rome as well. So what are some of the themes that are common to the Acts of the Apostles and to the Gospel, according to Luke. Well, first of all, right through the whole of the Gospel, the role of the Holy Spirit is very strong. Not just in Pentecost, but descending on Mary, Jesus was sent out into the desert to, um, by the power of the Spirit, and then he talks about the Spirit of God being upon him when he begins his public ministry. So, the role of the Holy Spirit, very important theme for the modern church, how do we allow the Spirit of God to lead the church on mission? The second um, big strong emphasis that's distinctive to Luke is he focuses very much on mercy for the poor. And there are some parables that are distinctive to, um, to, to Luke's gospel. You have a rich man and, and the poor man and, and, and Lazarus and you have the parable of the prodigal son. Luke is strong on blessed are the poor and blessed is the God who is merciful. And then the third thing that we have distinctive about Luke is, as I mentioned, these infancy narratives through the eyes of Mary. Matthew tends to look at the story of Jesus through the eyes of Joseph, whereas here we have um, the emphasis very much on, on Mary and how she saw things. So clearly he got the story from, from her. So let's look then how Jesus launches his mission in St Luke's Gospel. And I'll read out that passage and perhaps ask a few questions you might want to think about. You have it there on the slide. Chapter 4. He went to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, where the Jews gathered every Sunday. The Spirit of the Lord is on me. Taking a piece of the, the scriptures from the prophet um, Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. There you have it again. He sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. There we have the spirit, poor and 
the mercy, the favour of God. So I'm suggesting then, perhaps for prayer and reflection, as we move into this first full week of Lent 2021, does St Luke and the emphasis he has on Jesus have any specific message for how you understand your faith journey? And does it have any particular message for how the church ought to be acting today? Chew over those, that'll be a good start for you. And then please God, we can begin to look at St John's Gospel next weekend. Enjoy the reading, enjoy the praying, and let the Lord and the Spirit of God lead you. God bless.